Station 4. Concrete Cube Production Each and every time concrete is produced, representative samples from the batch are taken as a quality control measure to determine the compressive strength in the future. Compressive strength is one of the most important characteristic properties of concrete. It dictates the load-bearing capacity of a structure and has influence on bond strength and durability. In Ireland, the concrete samples for compression tests are generally in the form of 100mm cubes. Some other jurisdictions use 150mm cubes, while cylindrical samples are also common. All test samples used across Europe are produced in accordance with the standard EN12390 Part 2. At this station, each group will produce two concrete cubes for testing in seven days' time. To start, some lubricating oil has been applied to the plastic mould. This will aid with the removal of your concrete upon hardening. Concrete will be placed in the mould in two equal layers. Each layer is compacted using a metal tamping rod to remove pockets of entrapped air and thus increase density. 25 blows of the tamping rod should be imparted on each layer with blows being distributed evenly across the entire surface area. You should ensure that the tamping rod does not strike the bottom of the mould while compacting the first layer. Slightly overfill the mould while depositing the second layer. The concrete will drop in height as it is compacted. As per the first layer, the second layer is also subjected to 25 strikes of the tamping bar. One should ensure that the tamping rod does not significantly penetrate the previous layer. Next, the top surface of the cubes must be leveled using a steel float. Firstly, push the float down and apply circular motions to the surface. This will remove large protruding aggregates and leave a smooth glazed appearance on the concrete. The float is then held at an angle of approximately 45 degrees and, by way of sewing motion, used to level the surface. This technique should be completed in both directions to close up any air voids that might appear. Leveling is completed by rolling a clean steel float across the surface. Proper labelling of concrete samples is of paramount importance with respect to traceability. Each group should write their group name on the provided affixed label. The concrete cubes will be tested after 7 days to determine the compressive strength of the batch. In order for the concrete to reach its desired strength, it must be properly cured. Curing is the process whereby the fresh poured concrete is protected from moisture loss and excessive fluctuations in ambient temperature. Damp Hessian cloth will be placed over the cubes to prevent rapid drying of the concrete. This is then covered in a plastic sheet to reduce evaporation. The cubes will be allowed to cure like this for 24 hours. At this point they will be hard enough to remove from the mould. They will then be stored under water in a dedicated curing tank for 6 further days at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius in accordance with the standard. One of your cubes will be tested upon your next visit to the lab. The technical staff will produce and publish a spreadsheet illustrating and comparing the compressive strength of each of the group's concrete cubes. This will allow the class to observe the variability inherent in manufacturing a man-made product such as concrete.